The first episode of Zom 100. Bucket List of the Dead opens with our main character Akira watching a zombie show and wishing it was his life instead. Akira is shown being hired by the production department three years ago, a position he had always desired. Akira runs into Saori, a member of the accounting department, before speaking with Kosugi, the department chief. She gives him a brief overview of the company's operations and wishes him luck on his first day. Akira goes to a business party at a bar after his first day on the job. They inquire about Akira's plans for college and other topics. When Akira sees Saori at the bar, he makes a commitment to work hard to win her favor. Everyone's personality suddenly transforms, turning them into soulless, working drones. When they act strangely at work, Akira notices and wonders what's going on. Akira comes home tired after working many all-nighters. He sleeps less and gets up later. He's resolved to try his hardest, though. Akira learns about the employer's employee benefits, including paid annual vacations, anniversary days off, and paid time off for mental health issues. Akira makes other claims about her employment that are clearly unfounded. After a year, Kosugi asks Akira to complete an assignment for him in a week because Takahashi will be absent for some time. Since Akira is overworked and over his lunch break, Satora sends him food. Akira claims that she is the only person who is keeping him in check. Prior to learning that Satora was the CEO's mistress, he had a crush on her. Akira gets confused as to why, in the absence of Satora, he continues to work for this production company. Even though he recognizes he might not have time to seek another job, he wonders if he should, and he doesn't want the team to take up the slack. Akira experiences increased work-related stress in his third year, to the point that he considers suicide. When he gets home, he watches a number of TV programs that highlight the value of worker safety and health as well as workplace manners. Again sleep-deprived, Akira awakens. He notices a note reminding him that he neglected to pay for his bike space on his door. Akira meets with the manager of his building to talk about the circumstances. Akira observes the manager's door opening but receives no reaction. He finds out the manager has become a zombie. Akira suddenly finds himself being pursued by an army of zombies as he wonders what's going on. Akira is happy about the zombie apocalypse because it means he won't have to go to work anymore after all. Akira locates a location free of zombies and worries over what he ought to do with his spare time. In addition, he worries about Satora's security but declares that he would rather die from zombies than suppress his affection for her. When he gets to Satora's apartment, he sees that his boss has turned into a zombie and is present. Akira informs his boss of his resignation from the company before using his rugby prowess to throw him out the window and murder him. Akira admits his love for Satora after seeing her turn into a zombie. After that, he departs to go to a store late at night while reflecting on his future plans. Akira enters the store, buys a sharp and a notebook, and turns them into a 100-point bucket list as the episode comes to a close. It's been a while since zombie-related anime like School Live and others presented audiences with their own perspectives on this terrible scenario. Fans may expect a combination of hilarious fun and excitement in a zombie-themed scenario based on this first chapter. This episode served as a fantastic introduction to the Akira story because of its gorgeous visuals, fluid animation, and superb tone shifts. People who struggle at work will identify with him and relate to his passion for the zombie apocalypse. Although some viewers may not agree with his response, the episode puts Akira in enough tense scenarios for many viewers to understand why he is so excited about this scary situation. Akira's conflicted feelings were beautifully depicted in the anime's grayscale and brilliant colors by the bug film's artists. The result was a piece of work that has a wonderful and powerful emotional resonance. Despite Akira's upbeat outlook on the end of the world, some may worry if he'll run into circumstances that cause him to reconsider his position. And if you like this video please hit the like button and if you are interested to watch more of this kind of content please subscribe to this channel for more updates.